Assignment 11. Read. Unit 4. Oxford Discover Student Book. Page 38-39. Teeth. Not just for eating. Assalamu alaikum grade 5. I hope you're doing well and enjoying your e-lessons and Zoom classes. And doing your assignments, home tasks with responsibility. This is your assignment 11 read. So let's begin. All right, so, so before formally starting the lesson, I want you to open page 37 of your student books before you read. You have to answer these questions and think carefully. Do all animals have the same kinds of teeth? Like in previous lesson, we discussed about the different kinds of teeth, right? So do they have the same kinds of teeth? What kind of teeth do carnivores need? Right? We also discussed this. So think about that. What kind of teeth do snakes have? Right? So what are they called? You have to think. Exercise D. Learn using visuals. Visuals can help you understand the meaning of what you're reading, especially in non-fiction texts. When you read, remember to look at any pictures, graphics, diagrams, or other visuals. So visuals are basically what the pictures, graphic diagrams, etc. that are with your texts to make you understand it better. Think about how each visual relates to what you're reading. Be sure to read any caption too. So they basically help you understand the visuals, help you understand the text. Read the paragraph and look at the diagram. Talk with your classmates about how the visual helps you understand the text. A horse map. A horse has two sets of teeth in its lifetime, just like you do. It loses its baby teeth during the first few years of its life and then it gets a permanent set. Unlike you, a horse has 40 teeth. You have 30 teeth. They have 24 premolars and molars to grind down food, 12 incisors for tearing grass and 4 knives. Okay, so you have to read them and discuss them with your classmates. Exercise E. Words in context. Scan the text on page 38 to 39 and circle these words. As you read, try to guess what the words mean. Powerful, intruders, supply, seal, toppling, launch. Exercise F. Look at the visuals on page 38 to 39. What animals will you learn about in the text? I'm going to play an audio track for you of the comprehension. Listen to it carefully and read it yourself again with correct pronunciation. Page 38. Read. Teeth, not just for eating. What are teeth used for? That's easy, you say. Teeth are for eating. You're partially right. For people, that's the purpose of teeth biting off and chewing food, and occasionally ripping into that package of cookies. For animals, teeth are good for more than just eating. They might be used for fighting, communicating, or even building a home. Some animals have a continuous supply of teeth. The shark has two sets of teeth, so a missing tooth is automatically replaced. Many reptiles, like lizards, also have a constant supply of new teeth, replacing the old ones. Many animals use their teeth to battle. Walruses have two ivory teeth, called tusks, that can grow up to almost a meter long. Male walruses fight each other over females, and the one with the longest tusks usually wins. Elephants also have tusks, though theirs can grow to be over three meters long. They use them to protect mates and young, even fending off lions if necessary. Other animals may attack prey with their teeth. Alligators and crocodiles don't use their teeth to chew, but to seize prey, which they swallow whole. They may lose teeth, but backups are waiting to move up and fill the empty spots. 
Some animals have sharp front teeth called fangs, which kill. A poisonous snake can push venom through its fangs, leaving its victim helpless. Vampire bats use fangs to pierce holes in their prey's fur and skin. Then they lap up the blood, their food, with their tongues. Hyenas' small teeth are set in powerful jaws that can crush the bones of a much larger animal. Some animals use their teeth to send a message. Horses show teeth to express different feelings. They might talk tough, welcome others, or show respect. Porcupines click their teeth to warn others to stay away, while hippos yawn to threaten. Baboons scream and show a mouthful of huge pointed teeth to both frighten intruders and make their young behave. Angry bison grind their teeth, making a squeaky sound, stay away. A few animals use their teeth to supply shelter. Naked mole rats use four razor-sharp teeth to dig tunnels, which serve as a home. Their lips seal behind their teeth so that soil doesn't enter their mouths. Their teeth are constantly growing, but wear down as the top and bottom teeth scrape together while digging through hard soil. Beavers also have four front teeth that continually grow. These teeth wear down from gnawing through trees. After toppling a tree, beavers use their teeth to drag logs to the water. They use these logs to build a home or lodge and also to create a dam which protects the lodge. Some animals also use their teeth to groom or clean themselves. For example, there is a group of animals called prosimians, which means before the monkeys. They're monkey-like creatures, but they aren't monkeys. There are about 50 animals in this group, including lemurs, eye-eyes, and lorises. The type of teeth and the way they use them tell us that they must be prosimians. Almost all prosimians have comb-like lower front teeth that they use to clean the fur on their bodies. So, as you can see, teeth are not only used for eating. They're also useful for building shelters, digging holes, warning off predators, catching and killing prey, fighting, and keeping clean. I hope you listened to it carefully and enjoyed it too. Now I'm going to read the sight words and some important words from the text which you will circle on your books. Repeat after me. Sight words. Fang. Tusk. Venom. Shelter. Dam. Prey. No, Beerus, Pando, Beer Down, Lap Up, Create. Now, some important words Powerful, Intrude, Supply, Seal, Toppling, Lodge. Okay, student. Now we'll move towards the home task. Your first home task is you put the sight words and some important words with correct pronunciation and send the audio to me on the email given at the bottom of the screen. Your second home task is to learn and revise the sight words and some important words. Find their meanings in the dictionary at the end of your book and you have to use any 10 of them in sentences of your own in your notebooks. Alright students, that's all for today. See you in the next video inshallah. Take care of yourself and your family. Allah Hafiz.